what is up guys i'm daddy game afraid and welcome back to another reaction today we're gonna jump in and watch the state of play which i think is starting in 40 seconds i'm pretty hyped i have no idea what we could be be shown i think they said that they can have like a recap of stuff that was shown before at the last day to play they're just gonna refresh us on the, some of those games that sh basically they announced and shown but my thing is is that some of the games that they shown are out already like they showed um i believe they showed like bug snacks and stuff those games are out so i wonder what is like they gotta have new stuff in here too like so i'm excited for the new stuff i still don't have a ps5 yet so Anything PS5, I do hope it does, like, you know, lingers to the PS4, maybe. But regardless, I am hyped with whatever we're going to see. Hopefully, we do see some new stuff here. RP to teen, okay. That's a... That could be anything still. There's some very Crash? Coming to... Your future. Crash coming to PS5. change the course of your life. Oh, is this a new? But there's lots of awesome updates and additions. Coming to the Crash Bandicoot 4, it's about time experience on PlayStation 5. Wait, 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 wait. Creative producer at Toys We're getting new stuff? Feature rundown of Crash Bandicoot 4 on PS5. Okay. Includes 4K at 60 frames per second, adaptive triggers, 3D audio, and more. Let's make this fun. Are we getting new content? Crash Bandicoot Warp left off. In Crash Bandicoot 4, it's about time. We find the evil masterminds Neocortex and Dr. Entropy escaping a once-thought inescapable interdimensional prison, leaving giant holes in the universe. Okay. What follows is a mind-bending adventure for Crash and his marsupial pals. We designed Crash Bandicoot 4 to leap off your screen, brimming with bold, vibrant environments and characters. Mm -hmm. Crash Bandicoot has always looked pretty suave. But wait until you see him spinning heads in native 4K at 60 frames per second. Okay. With the weight of the universe on your shoulders, and probably some errands to run, there's little <laughs> time to wait on loading screens. The DualSense wireless controllers bring adaptive triggers to your fingertips, so you okay. can feel the blast of Neocortex's DNA-changing ray gun. Or feel the grip when you grapple a ton of hookshot. Hold on tight when you feel the boost of Crash's jet board. And really feel the suck when you vacuum. <laughs> feel the when suck. Fully immersed in the Crash Bandicoot universe. Crank it up to eleven and take your audio into an all-new dimension with enhanced 3D audio. 3D audio, cool. Achieving the infamous 106% completion is the sign of a true Bandicoot master. Okay. But should our genetically mutated marsupial lose his way, leverage PlayStation 5 activity cards to track your progress and hit your goals for things like time trials, okay, flashback levels, and boss fights. I bet Entropy wishes he had that. <laughs> Even bring your incomplete save over from the PlayStation 4 and use the okay. to get that to is cool. That is cool. That is oh, cool. And one more thing. If you own the PS4 version of the game, an upgrade option is available. Check out the PlayStation blog for full details. Whether it's your first playthrough for free? or your hundredth, there's no better time to experience Crash Bandicoot 4. It's about time on PlayStation 5. I got it on PS4, so when it comes to PS5 and I get PS5, I'm definitely going to try it out. The gang's all here on today's new edition of State of Play. We've got some. The gang is all here? The gang's all here? You're going to show everybody? You're going to have First updates on everybody? The latest on an eagerly anticipated game coming to the PS5 console this spring from PlayStation Studios. Okay. Hey everyone, we at Housemark are excited to give you this sneak peek at Returnal. Returnal. In Returnal, okay. you will play as Selene, an Astra Scout, who crash lands on an alien planet, Atropos, after receiving a mysterious what was it called? signal, Ast a Astropos? white shadow. Players will explore this inscrutable, dark planet I'm sorry, I'm a kid. for answers and unfold mysteries, which may point to a larger force at play. Dashing and quickly maneuvering your way above. Yeah, this is the um like third person Metroid style game. That I said it was Metroid. I said it looks Metroid just because of the space action type vibe. Almost With a bullet hell. Variety of enemies and the vast of. number of unique movesets each possess. 
combat situations prove challenging no matter what the circumstances are. Yeah, this is Death definitely is only the beginning. Every time you die and restart, the world will change. The oh, hell no. <laughs> enemies will appear in new locations and in differing numbers, so you have to think fast and adapt. No! <laughs> Here you can see the use this of sounds the hard. <laughs> which is great for crowd control. This is okay. one of many alt fires that you can acquire in the game. Alt fires, so different um, ways to shoot. I dig it. I dig it. It's like a 3D action adventure schmuck. You will stumble I'm, across I'm, mysterious I'm devices that can grant rewards to the player. Again, Metroid-like. Consumables and upgrades. It's and like the PlayStation version of Metroid, and I'm and digging. Make each cycle feel unique. Besides the intense combat, Returnal also has a deep and engaging narrative. We allow players to piece together the puzzle that is the story of Selene, as they venture deeper and deeper into Atropos and into her personal nightmare. That's... That can't be here. I think I am reliving my memories in that house, but... Not fully. They're corroded. Some parts are missing, others seem... Manufactured. But I can remember the torment, feeling like I was losing my mind. <sighs> There's no comfort here. No safe space. Exactly as I left it. That's scary. Returnal. I'm excited. This is like Metroid Hades. Returnal lands on April 30th, and it's like combined in one. Talented team at Housemark. Like the fact that it keeps changing. Next, and shit. let's take a closer look at a high impact oh, okay. new PS4 is... game called Knockout City. Knockout City. We've seen this in the um, PlayStation. Um, not the PlayStation. The Nintendo um, Direct. Oddly enough, I thought this was going to be a um, Hi, Nintendo game, but Studios. it's not. So We're an indie developer based in upstate New York, and we recently announced Knockout City, a team-based multiplayer action game for PS4 where rival crews settle their scores with epic dodgeball battles. See? Knockout City is easy to pick up and play, but there's a lot of depth here for those who've got the skills. In our 1v1 I'm waiting to try. Mode, we go head to head in a constantly shrinking battleground, relying on your reflexes and abilities to knock out an opponent. A well timed catch powers up the ball, making it easier to land a hit. Ooh. Use trick shots to lob a ball over a ledge or hook it around a corner. Oh, that is fire. Fake okay. Throw to mess up your opponent's timing and knock them out before they can recover. When you're in a tough spot Ooh. with a ball flying your way, a last second dodge is the difference between getting knocked out and staying in the fight. Keep your wits about you and outplay your opponent to bring home a win. Oh, okay. This actually Let's looks pretty cool. Team KO, our 3v3 mode. Teamwork makes the dream work in Knockout City. If your crew is outmatched, a well-coordinated team can still dominate. I'm getting we'll invites in to play ball, Warzone. The new map that you'll find in our upcoming crossplay beta. The special ball for this match is the Sniper Ball, which locks onto targets from far across the map. Wham! You can take them out before they have a chance to react. Beyond special balls, each map features a unique mechanic. In Back Alley Brawl, you can hop into a tube and make a quick getaway or use them to sneak up on your opponents. Caught empty-handed? You can literally become the ball. A new What? <laughs> That's pretty cool. Or risk it all. Charge up a teammate, launch them high into the air with an ultimate throw, and they'll land in a huge instant KO explosion. Okay. The team here at Velen has been obsessed with building this world over the last four years. Knockout City is coming out May 21st, and we'd love your help in our final stretch of development. Rally your crew beta? And for our crossplay beta at knockoutcity.com to play early on PlayStation. Yes! Early on PlayStation! Okay. I'm with it. Let's go. Join the crossplay beta. It says crossplay beta. I'm thinking, obviously, it's probably going to come to Xbox and Nintendo Switch, PC. So, crossplay beta? All right. Time for something new. Here's your first look at an upcoming PS5 game from the team at Slow Clap. Slow Clap. Slow 
slow clap? Oh, they're about to get it on. Yes, son is about to open that door and just like whip ass. Let's go. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Ooh! All right. All right. Oh! <laughs> Shit. Oh. My son got knocked. For days. Ooh, okay. It's like some Jet Li shit. Ooh. My son is getting older. Uh huh. Shifu? What was it called? Shifu? Shifu? That was the debut of Sifu. Coming Sifu. to the PS5 console okay. later this year. Coming to PS4 too. Cool. Now let's get that an update clean. on Solar Ash, an epic new Solar PS5 Ash. adventure from Heart Machine. Also coming to PS4. Was this the shit that looked like um, Hyper Life Drifter? Hey everyone, I'm Alex so. Preston. Creative director of Heart Machine. You might know us as the team behind Hyperlight Drifter. Today, I'm here to show you the first peek of Okay, that made sense. Solar. I felt like a, I felt like an idiot. I'm like, yo, this is this is the game that I said that looked like Hyperlight Drifter. Is a huge, stylish 3D platformer focused on speed, movement, and fluidity. It's made by the, the same people. Inside a giant so black that makes hole sense. Known as the Ultra Boy, which has been consuming everything in its path. You play as Ray, a daring void runner who has decided to venture into this terrifying anomaly as a last ditch effort to save her home world. Ray is extremely agile, able to speed across the world with abilities akin to skating. On the ashen clouds, she can quickly cover great distances. Okay, I thought that was, um, I was, I thought it was like going through the floor. I was like, it's going so fast, it's going core, through the floor. Solar Ash is a game about movement, and Ray has everything she needs to flow through the dangerous and unique world. That's cool. You're not collecting all those little bubbles, and it's like, my OCD is like kicking in. I'm like, no, get them planet, all. <laughs> you'll find yourself face to face with grotesque and violent creatures. Hopefully, you don't need to grab them all. Our combat system is simple, fast, and fluid, built to empower players and encourage flow. This reminds me of the, As you the Prince the of Persia game, game, the bad enemy one, encounters will not the good one. To greater and greater but this one is definitely more fluently. Some of these creatures like require speed around. and precise timing to defeat. Oh, that was an eyeball? I didn't even notice. Ray will eventually need to face the massive sentinels of this void. Wretched, starved beasts that hold the key to her quest. Okay. This looks cool. This looks like a good playthrough. You know what I'm saying? Solar Ash is Heart Machine's vision of the adventure platformer. The giant spaces, the feel of movement, the flow of combat, and the high stakes battles atop enormous beasts all come together to bring players something we think is incredibly unique and more importantly, fun. Okay, it looks fun. This game is a labor of love for everyone on the Heart Machine team. We're excited to bring Solar Ash to PS5 and PS4 later this year. Okay, cool. You could tell that it's like, if you're Core a fan of heart. scary games, this next one is for you. Is this Resident Evil? When I first no, found not. you, you were nothing. Okay. You were small, pathetic, but now. There's Five Nights. Five Nights of Freddy. More. Are you ready? No, I'm not. I'm not ready. Yep. Five nights of Freddy. Oh no. No, no, no. I 
I've never played Five Nights at Freddy. And I never will. <laughs> I never will. Nope. They won't stop hunting you. None of them will stop hunting you. You gotta look for them? Like, what's the... We have to get you out by morning. Oh. As I say, you will bring me what I want, and if you fail me, oh my God, no, no. Both of you burn. Well, now with it. This this reminds me of Clock Tower being defenseless and just having to run. No. There is more going on here than you realize. Nope, nope, nope. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> I don't like um, scary games where I'm defenseless. That was a chilling new look at Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach. Up next, let's take a tour of Outworld Soulstorm. Hi, I'm Lauren Lanning, creative director at Oddworld Inhabitants. Today, I'm going to take you on a brief tour of our newest game, Oddworld Soulstorm. They've always known you would come. Do you know why you have? In Soulstorm, you reprise the role of Abe. Yeah. Accidental hero turned unlikely leader the of an emerging revolution. As you do battle through weird and wonderful environments in an effort to escape the all-powerful and eternally greedy Gluckens. Hmm. We really wanted to bring this world to life with what we call 2.9D platforming, which adds much more depth and immersion for the player. This sense of connection is also reinforced through the use of the dual senses haptic feedback, as you'll now be able to feel Abe's heartbeat in high alert and suspenseful situations. Oh my god. <laughs> That's it's gonna get us scared. One, 1,000 fellow Mudakins that you must try to save along the way. But they oh are far God. more than helpless workers looking to be saved. When used effectively, you'll be able to solve puzzles, harness their combined energy, and be given the tools they need to fight alongside you. And there will be times when the extra hands will be needed as you face off against an array of heavily armed enemies that will stop at nothing to find and end Abe once and for oh all. Oh my God. This one looks crazy. In order to stand a chance against this much larger threat, we gave Abe the ability to scavenge, loot, and pickpocket items from his surroundings and use them to craft an impressive arsenal of his own that he can what? share with others. Abe got Abe could craft now. Also, him? play as a non-lethal pacifist or an agent of chaos. We wanted you to have the choice. But there is one iconic ability for our shamanic protagonist: possession. This mystical power allows you to take control of your foes and use their strengths and weapons against them or use them to gain access to paths still ahead. Okay, that's just the like the old universe games. is a diverse place. And this cool. means that there are some environments and situations that require Oh, that is cool. And stealth. You'll find dark and dangerous caves, heavily guarded industrial sites and ancient forgotten lands. Here, we've built lots of opportunities for you to test your skills and find different ways to handle things. <laughs> That's cool. It won't be easy. If being hunted by an army backed by a shady and wealthy organization isn't bad enough, there are also more dangers in the forms of natural obstacles, oh my God. ancient traps, trials against swarming dark creatures, and industrial hazards that must be dodged, crossed, and avoided. Oh my Ultimately, God. <laughs> Abe's journey is one of hope, freedom and truth i think that was There's the funnest part of the games in their back, back it was like actually dying we've been able to bring our characters to life like never before in and seeing all the death fashion, animations your actions in game will decide the fate of abe and all those you manage to liberate along the way and we can't wait to see what you will do april 6 okay Shit. That was, yo, this guy looks fucking creepy. Abe? That was the latest on Oddworld Soulstorm. 
And here's some exciting news. Active PlayStation Plus members will get the PS5 version for no extra cost starting in April. PS5 version Let's for no extra go, cost starting in bro. April. Let's go, bro. I was just about to say that's a cool Moving that would be a cool on, PS plus game. It's time to catch up with Kina Bridge of Spirits, a gorgeous new adventure we last saw in the June PS5 showcase. This is the one that looks like um I don't want to compare it to Zelda, but Zelda? And we got 10 minutes left. Everybody's like, no GTA 6. <laughs> the rats are quite fond of you. They're usually timid. <laughs> Something tells me you did not come to our village looking for forest creatures. Hello, spirit. I seek passage to the sacred mountain shrine. Ooh. Our village is bound to the shrine's energy. But that power faded long ago. Okay. Okay, let's see the combat. Yo, this shit looks like a fucking Pixar movie. This shit looks amazing, bro. Trapped spirits linger here. Tangled in the tragedies of our past. We must help these spirits if you wish to reach the mountain. It's okay. You have to go now. Oh. Okay. She got the bow. This land can be You cannot stay here, move on. I need the mask. Oh shit. That shit is e oh. Yep. Fucking zombified. Woo! Oh, give it some. I don't like that the gameplay trailer is like showing us gameplay with no sound. It's like no impact on the gameplay parts. And it's coming out now August. Let's settle in for a stylish new look at Deathloop, a PS5 first-person shooter Death developed Loop. by the team at Arcane. Hulk. What? You'll never ever break this loop. There's no never here. Just you, me, and the rest of these maniacs. <laughs> Bring it, baby. <laughs> I'm excited for the move. I'm just, Frank's matinee. you know what I'm saying? It's this not gonna be the. Out to the handsome asshole trying to break our loop. Colt, the visionaries are ready to dance. Are you? Oh no, DMCA. <laughs> it's like they're trying to break the loop for like Fortnite. <laughs> That'd be funny. Ooh. Stealth. Uh, Arcane is good at stealth. Shorty can say shift? Or is that new is that new news? Shorty has Shaysha you and shit? I 
like the concept, and I think the idea is dope. I just don't know if I'm too sold on it yet. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. Woo! That is fire. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. Oh, go off the rock. Fox win. Where you been hiding? Ooh. Let's do it again tomorrow. Huh? What to do when the bullet is the same, but the kill is always new. Song's over, people. And so is Ramblin' Frank. The rest of you motherfuckers are next. <laughs> cool little trailer. Cool little trailer. At first you don't just see. Die, die, and... <laughs> die, die again. Five minutes left. Before what are you going to show? How about a huge update for one of 2020's most celebrated games? Huge update? Final Fantasy? Wait, 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 wait. PS5 update? Put its captured on the PS5. Yep. Yo, if they say new content, I'm gonna fucking be so tight. Oh, spoilers. A touching reunion. Yep. Well, guys, your girl finally made it to Midgar. <sighs> My name is Yuffie, Materia Hunter and Elite Special Forces Operative for the new Wu Tai government. Wait, 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 what? Yuffie? Members of Avalanche, we got this. I'm back. Ah, there you are. Someone's been expecting you. What took you? Sorry about that. Anyway, it's nice to meet you. I'm Sonon Kasakabe. Where's Clown? We lost him. You what? He will be okay though, right? Well, of course he will. They're the ones who blew up the reactors. Cool. Should we say hi? No, better not. After what they've done, you gotta assume Shinra's on their tail. Look, a Moogle! Mm -hmm. <laughs> Stop! We gotta help. Wait, 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 what is this? This is DLC? Wait, 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 what are we watching, bro? Bro, what the fuck is this, bro? You guys should probably get moving. Got it. Yes. Is they're planning. You're better off out of this. They deserve what's coming to them. Yeah, they do. But I'm not your sister. Yeah. Oh. There you are. Who are these jerks? No clue. It just appeared. Seven. What remake? What? Now, let the hunts begin. Six ten twenty twenty one. Get down here, bro. Yo, bro. Graphics on PS five. Okay. PS four. Is five. Show the door, I dare you. 
I dare you, show the door. <laughs> That'd be so funny. This game already looked incredible. Like... Okay. I can see. I can see the... Show the door. Ah, <laughs> the dancing. <laughs> oh my god. I'm waiting for the side by side of just him standing in front of the door. <laughs> Yo, this game looks incredible, bro. Explain the DLC, please, bro. Quality of life. Graphic, graphics on performance. Classic difficulty added. Loading times. Oh, okay. Instantly. Photo mode. Okay. Yes. For my thumbnails. <laughs> this is fire, bro. Oh, no. They shouldn't have gave us the photo <laughs> New episode, yes. I gotta replay this now. I gotta replay it. I have to. I have to replay it. <laughs> you see that? <laughs> That's how ninjas do it. Yep. Okay. PS4 to PS5. If you own a copy of the PS4 version, upgrade the PS5 version for free. Yay! Carry over to the upgrading after upgrading to the PS5 version. So is that only on the PS5 version? Explain, please. That was the reveal of Final Fantasy VII Remake Integrate coming to the Integrate. PS5 console later this year. Okay, and PS5. So that and DLC. That's our show. We hope you're as excited Only on the as we PS5. are for what's to come in 2021. That's pretty cool. See That's pretty time. cool. I'm mad that I gotta fucking get a PS5 now to fucking finish that. Oh my god. But I'm glad that I, there is there's, there's exclusive content, more content coming to the game. And by all means, I want the second part. I want to continue the story. But I'm glad that, you know, they're giving us a little slice of life for free if we upgrade to the PS5. So to me, that that's pretty cool. That, that That's good. That's good. I just kind of wish uh, a PS5 were basically available so I can grab one <laughs> so I can fucking play it. But I dig it. This state of play was all right. It was okay. A lot of games that weren't like um, God of War. It wasn't Horizon. However, there are games that do need updates on that we do need that are going to be good games that are going to be huge games for the PlayStation fan base. And that, I'm glad that we got this update package. It felt like a seven out of 10 with the Final Fantasy stuff. Final Fantasy is cool, but it's just an upgrade with DLC. Um, that alone is huge. The DLC is huge, but I feel like that can't carry the whole direct or state of play. And we didn't see anything. What, like, what else did we see that was, that was lit in this, state of play besides the the metroid looking game the one that I, I, i'm always saying that looks like metroid that one everything else is like eh, b tier you know the hyper light drifter one is cool not so hype the other one that looks like zelda i keep comparing these games to other games but the one that looks like zelda with, with shorty going through the shrine looks cool Again, not so hyped though. Then we got Knockout City. You know what I'm saying? Deathloop. I don't know. Let me know what you think about this state of play in the comment section below. Like always, guys, I answer all comments. So let's have that conversation down there about this state of play. If you don't know, I answer all comments. So let's, again, let's have that conversation down there. If you're new around here, consider hitting that subscribe button. I do videos like this all the time. Every time there's a state of play Nintendo Direct, a new trailer to react to, I'll do a reaction here. Drop it here on the channel. If you're digging the vibes, Again, consider hitting that subscribe button. Also, hit the like button. It does help me out a ton as far as moving the video and to recommend this so other people can check.
check out the videos. Peace. I love you guys. I'm gonna see you guys on the next one. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for making it to the end of this video. If you're not a subscriber and you made it this far, hit that subscribe button. You know you want to join the family, ring the bell so you can be notified on the next time I drop one of my videos, as well as hit the like button on this video so it could be recommended so more people can check it out so we can have more people join in the family. If you want to keep up with me on other social media platforms such as Twitter, Instagram, or TikTok, or whatever, I'm Daddy Gamer Fred on all of those. Again, Daddy Gamer Fred, you'll be able to find all those links in the description of this video and the pin tweet comment on my Twitter. Also, on all of my videos, I do answer all comments. So again, if you just want to chat it up about the video or anything, just hit me up in the comment section below. I take time out of my day and literally answer to all the comments that you guys leave me and I love it. And again, let's have that conversation down there. Here are a couple of suggested videos that you guys should check out that may be of your interest. I am a variety channel. I do tons of stuff, tons of Pokemon, but tons of other stuff as well. So dive into these videos. Peace. I love you guys. I'm going to see you guys on the next one.